what's up you guys since here and welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna be working on a beat i already made <laughs> so yeah today we're just gonna be working on that um it's not much left uh, the beat is actually kind of mixed already i might turn a few things down and um level things a little bit better than i did before but um pretty much i feel like it's a little too empty on some parts so i'm gonna try to add like a little melody on there something nice and airy and um, that's pretty much it i'll probably wrap it up after that so um if you guys are cool with that let's get right into it John is it okay um all right so I'm thinking we add a melody right when the pretty much when the beat drops I want something like cool to just hit right there it's a crazy like guitar melody or something I don't know you want to see what happens um, okay just put that on steps all right let's see what we got here let's actually just listen to it to be honest <laughs> Okay, yeah, I'm starting to remember the melody now. All right, we go into going to our goat uh packs. The goat the goat one shot kits. I heard to get some new ones, I swear, bro. That might might be a better fit. I was going for guitar, but yeah, guitar is canceled, bro. Yeah, I think that's that's uh, that's pretty good. It's pretty good, I guess. I could just edit it, I guess. Uh, a little bit weird, a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna probably play with the velocity of these and mess these around, but um, I guess I sh I'll show you guys some of the stuff in this beat before I wrap this up. Um, after this, I'm probably just gonna switch out the sound and then just finish the beat up. But um, it's a it's a few cool little tricks in here, so I can show you guys those really quick. Um, I always have an effects channel. Um, that's just for literally effects. Like when I do transitions in the beginning of beats and stuff like that, that's usually um, one of the first things I do because I just I just put it towards the end of the insert channels for some reason and I just call it effects. That's why it's the only one that's named um, after all the other inserts or just uh, default names or whatever. Um, because it's just it's just easier to detect when I'm uh, about to put the effects in because I'm usually super lazy after I finish a beat so I just want to hurry up get the effects in there and be done with the beat so it's usually flangus on here just a little bit to widen it up a little bit and make have a little effect on the uh, transition because usually um, the transition I use are um, not dull but they just need um, a little bit of a boost in the uh, mix and then um, by putting the reverb on here it helps you um, create a little tail after the sound cuts off so you could cut it whenever you want to basically um the 808 pattern is actually a little i guess it's a little interesting so we could go to that really quick um so i use this from um Kadalos. um i don't know if i'm saying that right at all but um this is i forget what kit he has um that that i used it from um i can pull it up right now if i can find it 
Um, this one of these daggone kids. Uh, he has like crazy 808s in here. Okay, I just found it. Hey, what kind of 808? <laughs> what the freak? Um, so yeah, here's the 808 pattern. Um, no, that's not the 808 pattern. But yeah, I have a few slides in here. Um, this is a little technique I learned from Hellbach. Um, check out their channel if you haven't already. Um, I won like one of their contests of, um, a while back and I've been following them ever since. And I just recently picked up on this like eight away trick or whatever. Um, so basically you put your notes um, right before the eight away hits and it softens up the attack before it, um, um, it actually hits on the beat. So basically you can stack a, a kick on top of that and it won't sound um, as muddy as it usually does if you have like a hard attack eight away. So, um, I think that's a pretty cool trick. So I picked it up off of them. Um, definitely shout out to them. Um, I have slides here and I do the, the little lowering volume trick um, or attack trick that you want to call it um, uh, quite a few times. You pretty much do it every time because um, you got to leave. Um, what's it called again? Uh, I forget what it's called. Uh, yeah, you just leave the envelope off. I mean, and it's off by default, but you just got to leave it off if you want to kind of do this like little trick and you want to let the, the 808 um, ring out. You can't let it stop like I was about to do with the envelope. Um, other than that, I have slides here. Um, if you guys want to, uh, I guess, copy that or something, I don't, I don't know how to explain these uh, that well. But yeah, I got the two low notes here. So they both, um, oh God, that scared me. Um, <laughs> why did that scare me, bro? You usually want to keep slides an octave apart. So I did that here. Again, this is all in the 808 tutorial. So go check that out if you want more of an in-depth thing. This is just like kind of for this beat. Um, so I got the lower notes here. That's um, suppressing the attack before the 808s hit. And then I just got two slides up. So you see how it, uh, okay, can you shut up? Thank you. Thanks. So you see right here that the, the 808 dips out right here because it's still listening to each note that I program in here, um, regardless of the fact that it's uh, two notes here. Usually it'll blend together if the volume was up, but right now it's actually listening to both 808 patterns in the different velocities I set it to. So I got these on 100 or the regular velocity, I guess, so not 100. And then these are all the way turned down. So it dips out uh, based on the uh, kick pattern. Well, that's what I based. The, the note dips at for the kicks. Um, that made no sense. I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is that you, you want to put these where the kick hits. So I have a kick that hits here, um, like exactly right here. So I want the, the eight weight to dip out on those parts a little bit. So it creates a cool like bounce too. Sometimes when you hit the um, hi hats on there too, and you shift the hi hats over a little bit. Um, yeah, that's it kind of it for the um, 808 pattern. The kicks, um, some of the kicks I have in here are delayed a little bit. Well, not delayed, but um, I have like this, um, they're like about 50% of the original. So that's uh, that, that creates a cool little bounce too. And um, that's actually pretty much it. Um, and mixing wise, here we go. I'm about to show you guys. I'm about to show you guys. Look, look been a while on this channel so I'm gonna show you guys my master chain it's kind of crazy look yeah copy that down go on copy that down that's the mixing chain that's what's on the master right now so the multi-band compressor actually brings out um, it just brings everything up um, especially the, the mids for some reason on this preset I have it on I'm sorry I didn't even show the presets um, I put the plug in on here, right? I just throw it on here and I just go straight down to master 2.4. And then by default, um, the limiter is on. You want to take that off because that's basically the same thing as putting fruity limiter on. So take that off or it's going to, it's going to slap your beat back down from hard to soft. You don't want that crap. So turn the limiter off and then you want to uh, manipulate the gain knob. That's it though. You can do other things and mess with the mid and uh, low and high band, but usually I mix my beats really well prior to putting these on the master. So I'm just kind of giving it a little bit of a boost. It's already pretty much at zero decibels when I mix the beat beforehand. So this is just a little bit of um, extra sauce on the beat um, to give it the bounce that I wanted to have. Um, 
Yeah, so it pushes up the mids and the highs pretty much. And then um, the lows, I guess it does that too, but it's, it's more prominent in the high and mid area. So it brings out the melody basically. And that's what I needed to do sometimes. I'm a very heavy handed drum type of guy. So it, sometimes I tend to drown out the melodies a little bit and that usually helps me out a lot. So the clipper is the next plugin and um, it literally does what every other clipper does. And I just keep it on a default preset now. I used to have um, I used to have it on this like Zen's master preset I made a while ago, but I didn't really like it. It was uh, bringing up the sounds a little too much for me. So I brought it back down to the default setting. So I just needed to clip all the sounds. That's all I needed to do. So I needed the soft clip and that's it. I don't want to boost anything with that. So it's just making sure that it keeps at that zero decibels. Um, even if I'm reaching over it a little bit. Um, and then up stereo pro is a goaded, it's a goaded plugin. I'm telling you, it's a goaded plugin. So you got your punch, you got your sizzle, you got shape, and then you got the widen. This is why people always say my beats are super wide because they really are. They are literally wide. I push the wide up to about 60 sometimes at the maximum. Anything more than that is going to push the volume up. Everything's going to be clipping. It's going to sound weird. But um, if you want your beats to sound wide, go ahead and throw this on here. Copy these settings. It's on 55%. Usually it's all the way on 50. So, well, that's not actually a lot, but um, it's a big difference. Big difference. And um, sometimes you can push the shape up. It kind of brings the highs out. It's kind of like a, almost like a high EQ boost, basically. And then sizzle is really for the hi hats. Like if you want your hi hats like sizzling like crazy, which you don't, you want to push it up just a little bit. Like if your hi hats are like really lacking in the beat, you want to push the sizzle up just a little bit. Use your ears, of course. Make sure it's not bleeding your ears and crap. Um, I usually don't use the punch because it pushes the kick up, like literally pushes the kick up. Um, and, but it's, it's useful if you really struggle with getting your kicks through the mix and you need it like the, that. You need that real punch. Just push that up a little bit. That'll handle that. Um, and this is just a gain up. If you um, if you're mixing and you just need that extra gain boost, you can push that up. But I would recommend just doing it in a different plugin or just boosting the sounds in general or using like the compressor to, to boost the gain up a little bit instead of through here. So yeah, I'm just going to finish up this beat and you guys will hear that right after this outro. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, it's kind of a different style today. I'm actually going to apologize for not just doing a beat from scratch, but um, I kind of just wanted to do this on camera because I really like this beat. Um, so if you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe. If you haven't, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.